Hey everyone, this is Scotty Wick. Wanted to go ahead and make a video on how you can get items or different 3D objects that you find out in the world um, that are usable into VPX. This is a very common question. It's something I struggle with still to this day. But uh, And this is not a foolproof plan, but for those of you who, whose skills are maybe where mine are and just need to find ways to get things in, this will help you. What we're going to do is we're looking at this van here. Um, you can see we got, you know, different aspects of this van. Pretty cool van. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to download the 3D model um, here. You have to log in if you're getting from Sketchfab. But wherever you're getting it from, it doesn't really matter. Um, and a DAE is a fi is is a fine file format. You can also use the GITF; that'll work as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the DAE, uh, download that, and go ahead and put it in this folder on my desktop called Van. So I've pre-downloaded that one, so it's in there. I'm going to go ahead and open this up, um, go to the desktop, find my folder Van, and um, we're going to go ahead and extract that here. So um, that's going to give us our source and our textures. Now, the problem with VPX is that we're not able to use a multi-textured, multi-image file. Um, and that's going to be your biggest issue, honestly, uh, is that getting these things into VPX with a single texture file can be a real pain in the ass. Um, but what we're going to do first we're going to go in here to source. We'll find the model there. I'm going to go ahead and extract this. And uh, now we've got a model folder. We've got our DAE in here. So what we need to do first is we need to convert this to a file that we can use um, for our UV mapping. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open Wings 3D. This is free to download online um, and, you know, pretty simple tool. What we're going to do is we're going to go to file import and again we had a DAE again if you could use a GITF um, but we're going to use the DAE uh, so I'm going to go to my desktop here the folder van source model and we have the model there so when I load this in what we're going to get is our van um, so that's nice. Um, really all we're trying to do here is just get this in a file where you can export it back out as an OBJ, um, which is what we're going to need for VPX. So we've got it in here. Uh, if you need to delete things, you can. Um, in this case, we don't need to delete anything. We're going to go ahead and export as an OBJ. Um, I don't, I just kind of go with what this is set as. Uh, we don't really care. Um, you can do the one per group, but I just kind of export it as it is. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go just into our base folder here, van, and we're going to do, I'm just going to call this van one, because uh, we're going to fiddle with this file a few times. So we've saved that out. Once this saves down, we we'll, can go ahead and close. Um, it'll think we want to save something. We don't. It's gone. Um, what we need to do is next use a program called UV Mapper. Again, another free program UV Mapper Classic. It's online. It's a super old school looking website. You can download it for free. Um, we're going to open up that because we need to wrap this thing in a single texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to do file load model. Again, we're going to go back to our desktop here. We're going to find that van. And here's our van one that we just worked with. It's going to say it finds a whole mess of vertices. Um, and then this is the texture file that came with it. Now, uh, best of luck trying to uh, design around that. Not going to be able to work with that very well. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new wrap on this thing. So we're going to click Edit, New, v new UV Map, and usually always I'm going to use Box. Uh, what Box is going to do is it's just going to split it into its sides. Obviously, when we look at this, we go, well, I can, you know, I can work with that. I know what I'm looking at here. Um, and so that's great. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go file and we're going to save our texture map. Um, so we're going to drop this in here. We'll call it van one. That's fine. It's going to be a bitmap file. 
um, and we'll just drop it in there. We then want to save this model. Um, I have it at export normals, export UV coordinates, export materials, and export UV map regions. We don't need any of the other items. And I'll call this van two. So what we have here is we're pretty close. Um, but we're going to go and close this out. We're going to need uh, once again to open up wings. And we need it to reprocess this OBJ that we just made and create some normals around it so it can go into VPX. So if we go to import and then we go to wavefront OBJ, again, that's the one we just made. Um, we're going to go to van and we have van two here. <clears throat> we're going to click that and we're going to open it up. It'll look pretty much the exact same. Yeah, you know, exactly the exact same. And then we're just going to export it again as OBJ. This is just going to make some normals for us and get the file ready for VPX. Um, and then we're going to just call this one Van Final. And uh, once that saves, then we can just close out. That's it. All right. So that's pretty sweet. So what we have now is we have Van Final um, is ready to be imported into VPX. Um, it's, we don't have a texture file. I mean, we don't have the art yet, but it is ready to go into VPX. So what we have here is this van one that we exported. And we're going to go ahead and open with Photoshop. So that's going to get us the, the bitmap file. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use any other GIMP type thing. Uh, and that's going to show you your box, um, your box texture file here. And this is going to be a, a bitmap, so it's, you can't edit it. It's, you know, indexed and locked. Well, all I do is I just select all and copy it, make a new one, paste it in there. Now I can work on it. So there's a lot of different ways you can go about this. The Probably the easiest way when you have a box file like this <clears throat> is to go back to... Um, to go back to the web where you have this file uh, and just take a screen grab, right? So on this, you can expand this bad boy out, take a screen grab of it here, uh, get it nice and side sideways, take a screen grab, uh, go front view, take a screen grab, go top view, take a screen grab, go bottom view, take a screen grab, back view, take a screen grab, Right, so you can uh, you know zoom it so it's you know fits in the screen, whatever. Right, so you can really easily set this up so that you can take those screen grabs. Um, I think there's probably even cooler ways to go about this to get the exact. I don't know this tool very well, honestly. This is just how I do it. Um, is that I just go around it. Um, somebody else can comment on this and tell me that there's a way easier way and I'm wasting my time, but that's easy enough. Spin it around, um, find your sides, take photographs. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and drop those in here. So I'll go ahead and show you um, ones that uh, I've already done this. So here uh, you can see there we just take our screen grabs. We drop them in. A thing that's actually really helpful that I do uh, quite a bit is on this layer, we can go ahead and select the white space. So you can see that that'll select out the white space. We can then make a cropped region so that then you could just drop your artwork straight up in there. You see how it's, it's now in this crop. So you can go ahead and crop your artwork into that region so that you don't have to worry about things outside. But again, if the artwork's outside of that crop area, it doesn't really uh, but anyway, so you have an image. So we'll save this image now as a PNG. Um, I'm just going to call it van. We'll save it here, replace it. Good to go. All right. So we now have a texture, right? That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's go to our VPX. Um, so I'm going to click open a blank VPX file here. I just did a file new blank table. We're going to click on primitive. Put a primitive there in the middle, and we're going to go find our van file. So desktop van final. And I just leave all the coordinates, this stuff as it is, because I fiddle with it later. Everyone's going to come in differently. Differently. If you're a smart uh, 
you know, 3D guy, you'll tell me some of these things are wrong. I just do it as is. Bring it in, um, and you'll see here we now have our 3D item in there. It went in just fine. Um, but it's flipped around um, and upside down. So what, you know, usually you just play with this, but uh, most of the time you're just going to rotate your X and Y by 90 um, and get the van to be how you want it. I wanted it sideways and right side up. And then I generally just throw it, let's say like 150 up. That moves it up in this up in the sky, up off the table. So I can look at it. And then um, in this case, this thing's kind of small. I'm just going to put it to like 300. So three times the size on each of these just to get us a nice, you know, nice big look at it here. Neat. So I can now, uh, you know, I can now drag and, and put that guy where I want to look at it. All right. So next thing we need to do is we need to put a texture on it, um, our art we just made. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to Table, Image Manager, and import our art. Again, Van right here, import it. Uh, I'd actually already done that, but I'll remove it. So we have Van, and that's our artwork. So what we're going to do here is on Image, we'll just go down to our Van artwork. And then uh, I generally am just going to put a material of plastic white on it. Um, then you could disable lighting if you wanted to just see it bright. Um, you can also adjust your reflection or your static rendering. You need to take off static rendering if you want it to move. Say you want it to shimmy and shake as it get a hit or something like that. No, you would take off static rendering. But yeah, so let's go take a look at this. There we go. We got a van, and you can see it's reflected um, on the table there. RV van. Um, but really, that's that's my process. Um, of taking an item off the interwebs and getting it into VPX. There are obviously a lot fancier ways to go about it, um, but this is a way that works just fine. It should roll right below it there um, and allow you to get items into VPX. So hope this helps, and uh, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.